Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So today we're continuing right where we left off last time, in which we are getting ready for war with the deadly, dastardly Kaiser's Legion. So, um, 20 days until we have the end of bottle caps, and how many days? We've got 144 days until we end up at a war with the Barbarians. Oh, the Barbarian Hordes, which is good because we really don't have a lot of ways for them to invade us unless it's through the waterways, which hopefully we can control, as well as um, just through some land routes. Cool. You guys, go ahead and combine. Let them do this. Take that off. Take you guys to do a patrol down. I don't know, maybe not. Don't patrol. I want you guys to come to come down to here. What is this? Puertecitos. Puertecitos? I don't know. I don't know any um, uh, Spanish. So, oh, uh, we're building a lot of stuff here. That's really good. Actually, can we? Let's let time go on for a little bit, and let's take a quick oh look. It's 144 days. Yeah, there's nothing I can really do for coring states, which kind of sucks. But that's okay. A lot of blue. A lot of light blue. And actually, you know what, before I do this, let's, let's make sure that we do this. I'm going to position my power armor over here. That should be good enough. Have you guys positioned like... Mm, one, two... This should be good enough. I know I, I'm I'm taking more tiles in their actual like connections, but that's okay. I don't mind doing that, so we can have some fresh divisions come into those tiles when they're getting attacked like crazy. So it's really for our benefit. So uh, let's speed up time just a little bit, as I am rebuilding a lot of this area. We have about 540, about 540 uh, manpower, which will be pretty much immediately gone as soon as I start. Deploying manpower in certain areas, so I can core different areas here. Ooh, Alaska. Yes. Please. Very nice. Very good. Very nice. Very awesome. Certain areas probably need a little bit more of a police force. But let's go find those areas. <sighs> Lenevi, whatever. This will take some time, so let's speed it up just a little bit. Uh, let's not... Eh, I guess we could do that. I don't want to do states that have like no, almost no manpower, but in the end, I'm going to do all these states anyway. So, uh, San Rafael, doing all right, doing all right. Sac City, oh, oh actually, oh, we already have a police force installed there. Nice. Oh, seventeen thousand. Oh, they both have seventeen thousand, so it doesn't even matter. Very nice, pretty good. Everyone, come down there, and actually, if I need to. Deploy soldiers down here. Ooh, it is a still a little bit laggy, but I'm also processing my videos at the same time I'm recording these, just because I don't want to be doing this for too many days in a row, just because my computer will have to be on all the time, because this game, I can't save, like I said before. So, uh, hopefully our guys get down here quick enough, huh, <laughs> before the war breaks out, which they should be. I mean, we still have over 100 days. Oh, we got better logistics, too. That actually is pretty nice. What about industry? A couple years ahead of time. What about engineering? We're almost done with engineering. Nice. Uh, let's get some better radar stations. We will need radar stations in the south. Put them in Blythe. It will be very nice. Um, dockyards, I think, will be okay. Maybe get more resources down here, perhaps. Do I even need more resources? Yes, I do. Which we'll trade with a she. Maybe that'll make them happy with us. That should help us with relations. Maybe we can build maybe a barge or something. How is Etna doing? Uh, we have another light cruiser. Let's go ahead and throw them on there for now. We only have one capital ship with these guys. Which isn't ideal, but whatever. Uh, go ahead and do some patrols in this... Not in this area. Oops, and I clicked on something way too quickly. But, anyways, we're free of bottle caps. I'm not sure what it did. Sorry. Oh, well. Um, oh, we can rebuild the Pacific Northwest. Four states come with stripping the vaults. That sounds like fun, but let's get some Brotherhood leadership. See what happens first. 
I love the Brotherhood. Uh, I prefer them when they're gone and dead, but whatever. Let's see, oh, we don't actually have... We need more manpower, but, you know, I've always said that. So, really, we need to core more territories. Let's see, Gator Ranch. This is a place we need to core. There's no place here that says we can actually core things. I want Vault City University, but we need Nuka Cola Core Paration. Oh, what happened there? Oh, I was just watching the Brotherhood thing. Alright, not bad. Not bad. Still can't do that, unfortunate. So, fighter agility isn't bad. Tactical bombers. Really, I think fighters is the only thing we can really do here. I'm not using tactical bombers or strategic bombers, and they don't even have naval aircraft for this, so... I can't do anything with this. It's great. Ship designer? It's kind of like the only thing that we can do, so... Whatever. Still works out in our end. For us. Ooh. Another division? Ah, power armor. Love it. Actually, I should probably be upgrading this stuff, too. I shouldn't be just focusing on coring these states. I probably actually need some defenses down here. Oh, my goodness. I clicked on a lot of things here. Go ahead and start making some ports. We might really need those. It looks like, at least from this four divisions I see here, they don't have enough manpower or supplies, maybe? Hmm, maybe they don't have enough supplies. They got quite a few ships. 62, that's better than us. We only have... 11. That's alright. Nice. As long as we got enough defenses around here, they shouldn't be able to pierce our power armor, but you never know. And if we can look the part where we look a little bit weak, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I might need more manpower. Actually, I will need more manpower. Nice, we're done with Gator Ranch. Yes, please. Let me core you. Oh, whoa! Wow! The way does it do it automatically? No, it doesn't, but just one click gave us all sorts of glorious manpower. Oh, bathe me in your manpower, please. Um, that won't happen. Very nice. Ah, uh, someone falls ill. We lost. We lost, and then we gained even more manpower. I love it. Um, let's see. Gunderson Ranch. Thank you very much. We're rebuilding America, everyone. I hope you're happy. Because I know this makes me happy. Uh, when we have our own civil war someday, we're going to have to rebuild. I don't know if this is the way we're going to rebuild the states, but, you know, I probably won't make it. But that's okay. Mm, yeah, I think that's pretty much it at the moment for that. Now we're going to really focus on building some forts. Oh, baby. Because I'm sure the attacks that they're going to throw at us will be pretty harsh if they actually do attack us. So yeah, let him do that. Copperopolis. Huh, that's a cool name. Copperopolis. Anything around here? No, no, no. These are just the same territories that I used earlier. Ah, uh, thank you. Hello, Flynn Ranch. Very nice. Visalia. We definitely need to do that. Other areas. Nevada Ranch I can do. Parts of California. I think that's still California up there. I don't know. My California geography... I don't live anywhere near California. Been there once. Been to San Diego once in my life. Where's San Diego? That's LA. So I must be Dana Point. Must be San Diego, or something like that. Uh, send you over here. Very good. Do we have? Oh, the Brotherhood leadership. Vengeance for Navarro. The Brotherhood is clearly guilty of a range of crimes, including destruction of federal property, theft of federal property, and attacks on members of the United States government. Ooh. But a trial for the Brotherhood could be messy, as some Americans will point out their service raiders and super mutants, and they may try to slander us with false statements about our research at Navarro. Further, that given that the Brotherhood is descended from pre-war military, and we never actually did make an effort to cooperate, maybe there are alternative solutions. Or we could just do a show trial. I like show trials. We can make a show out of that, like a TV show. Stability, which is nice. Building railways in the Mojave will make them wish for nuclear winter. Doctor confessions for public consumption. Well, public consumption. Uh, that sounds like fun. Dang it, I skipped a day. Awesome. I love show trials. Brotherhood soldiers, where we lose a little bit of manpower, but we get more manpower. But we can produce power armor equipment a little bit faster. I'm going to wait on that just because I don't really need it. But I, I am interested in rebuilding some places. Um, you know what? I'm going to do this first. Just because we lose a little bit of monthly population, but we get more recruitable population factor. So that actually is kind of nice. 
And the oligarchy thing, I think, will work out for us very well. Also, this happened a couple episodes ago, but eventually when I took over Vault City, I did get First Citizen Lynette, so she, I think she is here. Yeah, she's here. More daily elite support, more war support, research speed, and much less justify war gold time, so that's pretty good, but I've already made my decisions. I don't need her. I don't need Lynette. I just need you guys. Oh, wait, what? Oh, nice, reconnaissance. Oh, let's do this too. Recon, very nice. Get even... Ooh. Ooh. Howitzers. Recon. I love recon. All right. We have 75 days. 75 days, and then they will go to war with us. Democracy. Weakness or strength. Oh, actually... I, I've not actually seen what happens when we fire this event. So that'll be new to me. That might be new to you, too. But definitely new to me. So, ooh. Scar top. Very cool. Thank you for joining us. Can I rebuild any more anywhere? No. No, probably because we need to install a lot of these places. I'm going to let time go on as I am installing all sorts of police thingies around the Pacific Northwest. Because right now we have the manpower and I don't mind using it. Beaver Creek. Love it. The camp. Port Orchid. Seattle Outskirts. I'll come back up to Alaska later on. Bedal. Wenatchee. Never been up to Washington. Well, at least yet. Not yet. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's not been developed around here. But I guess that's just Washington and Oregon for you. Oh, actually. Redmond. Cool. Besides, anyways, right now, we're just waiting for a war with the Brotherhood, so... Brotherhood? No, the Brotherhoods are mostly dead. The Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood might not be dead, and that's why I didn't call that episode last time, End of the Brotherhood. The Mojave chapter, I think, is still alive. We definitely need to take those guys out. Ooh, Harrington, nice. Spokane. Post Falls. Clagstan. Oh, that's an interesting name. North Coover. I was about to say North Korea, but not quite. America does not own North Korea yet. Give us time. Maybe we will. Hartley Haven. No. No. Yes. K Kitesing? Kitesing territory. Skagway. Awesome. So that's most of this area done, actually. Not as much as I thought would be. I, I suppose a lot of the California actually needs to still be cored. Yeah. Oh, Northern Ranches, of course. Tahama. Santa Rosa. Over here. Anything? No. I'm pretty sure Navarro is already under us. Yeah. Etna. Yeah, that would be a good place to do as well. Welding Ranch. Tumble Down Ranch. Yeah, in this place, we've pretty much already done most of this area. Oh, you're actually connected already. Ready to be connected. I need to keep an eye on my electricity, too. Um, let time go on. Shady Sands. And we can promote healthy families. So, Southwestern Mojave. Randsburg. Cool. Uh, subservient, or uh, subsidized servants. And eh, that kind of hurts our consumer goods factories, which we'll do in the future. The Enclave Reborn. Let's do American Broadcasting stuff, just because that sounds like fun. Mm, oh, actually, Kingston Range, and then Palm Gardens, Long 15, Nipton, LA. Okay, so we got most of this. I've already, we've actually checked out a lot of the uh, territory that we own now. Oh, that's not good. Um, I'm going to need some more. Do that, just in case. I didn't notice that earlier. Oh, yep, Northern Laguna Range. Colonet. Oh, Southern Laguna Range. Alright, alright, alright. Very good. And now it's 27 days left. Great. Look at all these areas that need to be cored. And it sounds like my cat Binky is outside my door, meowing, wanting to get in. 
Well, Binky, you made your choice of staying outside. I cannot ad adhere to your rule now. I don't know. Uh, oh, we got some political power. That's good. Just build this when you can. And I'm going to be running out of electricity soon, I'm sure. It's a good thing we're trying to build more stuff up. We have, never mind, 276 electricity. That's a lot of electricity. All right, 16 days left. Let's keep boosting on as we are suffering a lot of supply issues around here. Blythe. Oh, yeah, not bad, not bad. Um, hold on. Binky's keeps pawing at the door. All right, well, I, I gave him an opportunity, guys, and, you know, he didn't, didn't want to come in. Cats are just funny. They either want to be in, but when they're in your room, they want to claw their ways, their self out. So, go figure. Ah, oh, very good. Love water. Ooh, we're free men stand. Another infantry division. Just throw them down, down here. Construction for this stuff is, should be pretty good. Uh, what's the attrition like? 2.5? That's not bad. I mean, it's better to have none than what we currently have, but it could be worse. Um, ah, good. Even more recon before we go to war. Howitzers? This this gives me plus 10% attack. Mortars give me 30 soft attack. Howitzers give me 40. Sure, why not? Why not? And where free men shall stand. I've never seen this, like I've said before. It'd be very interesting to see what happens, though. We get an event, maybe. They have a lot more divisions now. We got better radar. We're feeling good. I'm going to build up another radar station here because we can. Actually, what is Kaiser even working on? Air production. American Broadcasting uh, Department. Cool. Uh, let's see. Entertainment Broadcasts. Honor the First Amendment. Yeah, no, I'm not going to honor the First Amendment because it gives us free press. And we don't like the free press. We prefer propaganda broadcasts. Yeah. It helps us consumer goods and political power, but we don't really need that. This also gives us daily political power as well. And I won't do this just because we don't really need it, so... Mm. Stripping the vaults. Do we have anything for our military? Yes, we do. The new American army, more division speed, recruitable population goes up by 2%, plus 10% re division recovery rate, plus 5% attack, artillery attack, artillery defense, and planning speed. Thank you, Jesus. Democracy, strength or weakness. If you want to see the fate of democracy, take a look out the window. House's condescending words reflected the belief of so many in the wasteland. From Kaiser's claim that the NCO is no true republic, to enclave purists who blame liberalism for the Great War, to the master who tried to bring the world one vision, though there are those who believe democracy has had its day, but the re United States of America has proven them wrong. Moving from strength to strength, the enclave has managed to bring the wastes together for a better tomorrow. And so everyone who profits from misery and slavery now moves to destroy the re United States, but they're going to find out that democracy is non-negotiable. And I'm glad I, we went to war with both of the brotherhoods earlier. Because, oh, the 80s? Oh, Kemalt Station. Um. Well, Shisa. That's not good. So the 80s is... The, oh, that's, that, we actually boarded the 80s. Well, Shisa. How many days do I have until this... 13 days, so I'm not going to click on that. I didn't realize that would happen. I've never seen this happen before, because I usually end up at a war with the Kaiser's Legion before this. The old country, thank God the Washington Brotherhood actually killed them off, so that's good. Port Ma's dead. Kimmel Station, 80s, and Kaiser's Legion. If I make this into one long line, one, two, three, four... 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 divided by 17 is about 3 divisions per thing. That's not bad. Let's do that. So, I gotta call an audible here. I have 13 days in total for these guys to move. Um, Really? Let's do like this then. That should be okay. I'm gonna make you guys move all the way up to Kimmelt Station. I should have killed you off when I had the chance. Let's do that. And then... The Washington brother, Brotherhood Power Armor will be okay over here. Why do you still have so, so many supply issues? I'm building your infrastructures very, very quickly. But maybe not quickly enough. And for the 80s, which I do share a very, very small border with, I need you guys to come up here. 
as well as you. Oh, shoot. I made you come all the way down there. Um, this isn't going to hold. I need three divisions. Oh, boy. This is not going to end up very well for us. Hopefully within 13 days, I can deploy this division quickly enough. Uh, I can't even deploy these guys. I might need to use these rebel militias. So, we're going to let time go on as our divisions are finding new ways to get to where they need to go quickly. Oh, thank God we took out most of the, the both of the brotherhoods earlier. Oh, that was that was good. All right, so you guys are both up here. Deploy immediately, and now I'm gonna redeploy you guys, right there. Nice. You guys are gonna be very very important for this. Go ahead. You already have full gear. You're just very inexperienced. This is not going to be good. Remember the oil rig. Across the nation, flags are half mast today in honor of President Richardson and the brave men and women of the Enclave whose lives were taken in a tragic terrorist attack in on the United States government's readout on the Poseidon oil rig. A center of biological research and aid programs, the oil rig was cruelly destroyed by a terrorist who blew up its clean, efficient nuclear reactor. President Grant had Granite had, has decreed today, Remembrance Day, a national holiday to mourn those among us whose lives were cruelly taken by raiders, vandals, and terrorists. But this is Enclave Radio promising you that they are gone but not forgotten. I'm going to immediately move this guy south. Um, immediately start building stuff here because this is going to be ooh, really not good over here. So, how many days left? We got eight days. At least we got one division for each tile. These guys... Oh, it's paused. So, each motorized division looks like has about six... Six or seven motorized battalions, which my... These guys aren't, won't be able to hold up very much. Um, for this, yes, let's restart the movie industry. That sounds like fun. Uh, and there's not enough train. Oh, 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 God, this is not going to end up well for us. Oh, our guys aren't even... Guys, how long does it take you to move? I know the infrastructure isn't great. They're halfway up here. So, they might get up there within, within a week. And Kaiser's at war with us. God dang it. As long as they don't call in the allies yet. Oh, the Washington Brotherhood's dead, so you can't really call them in. Or the Old Country, or Port Maw. Um, that's a lot of divisions. But for these guys, this might not be bad. You go ahead. If you can hold on to this territory without them... And there they go. God freaking dang it. So, keep moving, guys. You gotta move faster than this. Like, I need you there, like, yesterday. Like, literally yesterday. Cool. Um, for you guys. This is your new home, except for you three, who will just kind of stay in tumble home. But all together, you guys want to do that. So, move up, and then move up. Nice. Just hang on to that territory for now. We'll see what we can do about that. And make sure we deploy our ships as well. Do some convoy raiding. That's probably for the best. Patrolling is okay. It's not great. You guys, are, this is taking too long. Come on. Two weeks? No. No. Kimmel Station, they shouldn't even really have... Yeah, they have, like, no manpower. So by the time we get up here, we should be able to just push them away. So, you know what? Give me a little bit more time, and then I'll tell him to just go ham. Uh, but in the meantime, a year ahead in time. Eh, we can do it. Why not? Well, we've already made advances, so that's pretty good. Mm, give me all but one of you guys. Attack here. See what happens. Obviously, I really don't have enough divisions for all this. Attack here as well. Open up another front. That's really good. The Red Menace. One of unfortunate consequence of our anti-communist education is that some of our enemies have claimed the mantle of communism for themselves. Although it's not clear that these commie bastards even know who Marx is, they flock to the banner of the Legion forming a popular front against American imperialism. No worries, they'll find out soon enough why it's better be dead than red. I've read that before. Ghouls discuss America's flaws. It turns out some ghouls remember the martial law, rationing, and general societal collapse that preceded, preceded the Great War. As such, they're rather critical of our attempts to paint America as a city on the hill. There's one published one published a book entitled Lies Your Teacher Told You. Why don't we ever get a break? This cool sounds like a bit of a commie. It sounds like he's gone feral. Yep, he's gone feral. 
Kaiser's atrocities. Kaiser is a nasty son of a bitch. And as we push east, his men have responded with increasing guerrilla attacks on our supply lines and have atrocities have to demoralize our men. Recently, they somehow crucified 13 men on Hoover Dam, claiming that they left their bodies facing west to watch the world die. Um, uh, what's wrong with them? What is wrong with them? Anyone spreading these stories gets a visit from the Secret Service. Uh, let's see. They get more supply... Oh, that's actually... What's wrong with them? I forget. I, I remember this choosing this last time. I made the wrong decision, but I can't remember which one I need. I made. Anyone spreading these... Nasty center of the, what is wrong with them? They get a bonus to attack. They get more supply consumption. They get less technically supply... Well, technically they supply... They get more supply consumption, which hurts them. But doing this, they get more attack, speed, division attrition, and division attack. Screw it, we'll do that. Screw it, we'll do it. Not bad so far. We have taken a little bit of territory, even though Kimmel Station kind of sucks big time. But I think we can easily take them out. Come on, don't lag too hard, though. So here's the plan. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, they're... Oh, my God. Holy shnikes. So I'm going to lose a lot of this territory, so you guys, I need to call an audible, and we'll probably have to guard this place off like this. Just like, get out of there, just... Never mind, I got encircled already. Push them out, push them out, push them out as best you can. Just, just leave, go ahead and leave. I need this infantry to move in right now, take out Kimolt Station right now. There is no waiting. Absolutely refuse to wait for this. Um, Enclave, I need you over here, I need you over here, and I need you all over here. Immediately deploy whatever you have. Come here, join the line. We're going to have to set up a massive defense against uh, the 80s, which really, really sucks. Oh, and they're actually attacking our power armor, which is losing. Interesting. They can't pierce us, which is good, but I need to make sure. I don't have planes. I don't have gunships in the air just bombing the hell out of Kaisar. That is my fault. Should have thought of that before. Um. Oh, actually, we're winning now. Hmm. I don't like this. I really don't. We're going to fight tooth and nail for every single piece of territory. Ming Ming. I think he's still outside my room. War bonds, less consumer goods. That really won't help us very much. This, I just need to cut these guys off. So, this is terrifying. They actually killed off my other divisions. Holy crap. Um, I'm going to lose so much territory here. Holy freaking smokerinos. I have... Here's what I'm going to do. I need to do this. I need more divisions. Call on the divisions down here. The Rebel Divisions, Coast Guards, I need them. And so far, it looks like Kaiser's not navally invading me, so move your booties. We gotta save you. And this Power Armor Division, it gave its all. And we've... Oh, I can't win. Um... Yeah, this is not good. This is really not good. We have to form this line here. Uh, screw this. You're joining the Coasts. This is really, really not good. I did not know that the 80s were going to be at war with us. That's a bunch of BS. This is a bunch of BS, too. Why is Klamath, or not Klamath, but these guys at war with us as well? Oh, man, this is so not good. Ugh. Oh. New American Army, that's nice, but... Definitely need more than just that. Uh, let's do the United, United States of America. If I can cause a civil war in Kaiser's Legion, that'd be good. You guys are doing alright here. You have really bashed some of these enemies. Oh, and we are not winning yet. Oh, holy crap. Oh, come on. Stop lagging super hard. Come on. I need you to work it this way. You guys, I need you to do this. Do that. It might ruin the supply, but I have to have divisions over there. Just like how I have to have, I have, to have divisions over here as well. I can't afford to lose new Reno. Alright, these guys are cut off. Get god dang Kamult Station.
Alright, so we got some soldiers over here. That's good so far. Uh, I don't know. The fallback line, it might not be worth it. I need you to... Don't you dare attack. You gotta move back, man. Yeah, no. Keep him in place. Keep him in place. We need our divisions up here immediately. Over here, we're holding on as hard as possible. Oh. Camel Station's almost gone, which is great. We took the capital, but it's not enough. It's just not enough yet. Uh, you guys are encircled. Oh my god, you might encircle me. Ugh, god damn it. Uh, anyways, I'm going to have to end this episode here. So, hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. We're at war with Kaiser's Legion, and they have pulled a massive sneaky on us using the 80s as well as Kimmel Station, which uh, doesn't, I don't agree with. But, regardless, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we hopefully will try to win this stupid war. Thanks for watching.